The Radio Memories Network is brought to you in part by Liberated Syndication, podcast publishing made easy, Libsyn.com. That's L-I-B-S-Y-N dot com. Continuing America's love affair with comedy and those lovable characters that made us laugh, we now go back to the early days of radio comedy and our imaginations with our featured comedy presentation. The Aldrich family spotlighted the adolescent escapades of young Henry and the hijinks that ensued from simple things like a bicycle's flat tire or an overdue library book. The show also features one of the best-remembered openings from classic radio, Alice, Henry's stalwart mother, summons her son by yelling, Henry! Henry Aldrich! And Henry responds with a voice riddled with the crackle of puberty. Coming, mother! The show's opening salvo had such an impact that some play on it still crops up occasionally in modern entertainment. The Aldrich family features as rich and colorful a cast as any show could. From Alice to Sam, Henry's father to Homer Brown, Henry's usual partner in Confusion Right, through to Kathleen Anderson, Henry's sweetheart, and his arch-nemesis George Bigelow. Each character was distinct and had a life beyond the gags and jokes, making this show both real and larger than life at the same time. Listeners identified with Henry and his family. Now for this week's episode of The Aldrich Family. The Aldrich Family, a special rebroadcast for you soldiers, sailors, and Marines of the United Nations. American boys always grow up. They can't stop themselves. But no matter how important or how old they become, they always like to grow down to boyhood again and recapture their youth in the adventures of Henry Aldrich. The scene opens in the Aldrich kitchen on a Saturday morning. Goodbye, Mother. So long. Henry Aldrich, where are you going? No place, Mother. No place. Just skating. Skating, dear? You're leaving without doing what I asked you to do? Who, I, Mother? Henry, I told you I wanted you to take a package over to old Mrs. Proctor's before you did one thing today. On the first day of skating, and the whole gang's going to be down on the lake, Mother? I'm sorry, Henry, but you've got to take this fruitcake over to Mrs. Proctor. Even when Homer's waiting for me out on the front porch with the skates and everything? Here's the cake, dear. It's in a tin. And keep this side up. Gee, weren't you listening, Mother? Yes, dear. Now, please start. Well, where are you going, Henry? Skating? Skating, Father? Wonderful day for it. Now, Sam, I've just gotten through explaining to Henry it's going to be exactly as nice later on. Father, you... Uh, you aren't by any chance going to drive over by Mrs. Proctor's today, are you? Oh, I? No, sir. I have a very busy day scheduled. Sam, you hadn't forgotten you're going to that reception with me this afternoon, have you? Oh, what reception, Alice? Sam, I don't believe you ever hear one thing I say. I've mentioned it at every meal for the last week. To me? Oh, Henry. Yes, Homer, I'm coming. Henry, you're tipping the fruitcake just as I knew you would. Not very much, Mother. I just wanted to have it at the right angle as I went out the door. Alice, what reception are you talking about? At the women's club at 4 o'clock. At the women's club? Yes, dear. And please go answer the telephone. At 4 o'clock? I can't possibly make it. But, Sam! Hello? Hello, Sam. This is Will Brown. Oh, yes. Good morning, Will. Say, Sam, is everything all fixed? Now for this week's episode of The Halls of Ivy. That's right, Sam. Well, I'll tell you, Will, I'm in sort of a jam here, I'm afraid. Yeah? What's the trouble? Could you call me again in just a few minutes, and when Alice answers the phone, you tell her how important our engagement is. Why, Sam? Well, frankly, I forgot there was a reception at the women's club. And she's going to make you go? Not if you handle it right, Will. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, Yeah, I'll tell her it's a case of life and death that we get together for a conference. That's right, Will. That'll do it. Look, Henry, look. The lake's just like glass. Oh, boy. Well... Hey, Henry, wait a second. Where are you going? I told you ten times, Homer. I've got to deliver this fruitcake. But, gee whiz, I thought you were going out on the lake with me. Oh, no, Homer. I walked a block out of my way so we could see how the ice looked. And now I've got to go over to Mrs. Proctor. Henry, we're right here, aren't we? Why don't we put on our skates and go down the lake once before the crowd gets here? Now, Homer, don't tempt me. When I tell my mother I'll... I'll... Although I'll admit I might step out here just one step to see how smooth it is. Sure, Henry. And why don't you put your skates on? And No, Homer, I'm just going to walk out a ways. In the first place, Mrs. Parker's waiting for this fruitcake. 
see. It isn't bad out here, is it? No, Henry. And boy, watch me slide. Look out, Homer. Stand back. What are you going to do? I'm going to take just one long running slide and then beat it over to Mrs. Proctor. Oh, wait a second. I'll slide with you. Homer, I can't wait. Here I go. Whee! Hey. Hey, Homer. Oh, boy. Henry, look out. Where are you? I'm out in the kitchen, Sam. The telephone's ringing. Do you have to answer it? I can't. I've got to go downstairs and look at the furnace. But, Sam, how do you know it isn't someone who wants to speak to you? Hello? Hello? Is this Elm 303? Yes. Oh, hello there, Alice Aldrich. How are you? Oh, just fine. Is this Will Brown? Yes. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. Just a minute, Will, and I'll call Sam. Uh, No, Alice, wait. You don't have to call him. You don't want to speak with him? I just want you to give him a message. All right. Uh, Tell him something pretty important has come up, and no matter what he plans to do, I've got to see him this afternoon. Really? At what time? Well, uh, about four. Oh, but Will... Alice, I hope he hasn't planned to do anything at four. There are some figures I have to go over with him, and... and... Well, if it's that important, why naturally... Alice, that wasn't by any chance Will Brown, was it? Yes, Sam. He's still on here. Don't you want to speak to him? Uh, what? Uh, what's he calling for? He says you can't go to that reception. No. Here, dear, take the phone. I've got to go back to the kitchen. Hello, Will. Hello, Sam. I fixed it for you. You don't say. Well, Will, that's too bad. Uh, Now, listen, Sam. It's your turn to phone me. What do you mean? Call me back and do the same thing with my wife. It's that reception, Sam. She hooked me. All right, Will. You can depend on me. I'll give that my immediate attention. Goodbye. Goodbye, Will, and thanks for calling. Alice. Yes, Sam? Alice, I'm certainly sorry about Will insisting I be with him this afternoon. Just what kind of figures is it you have to go over? Why, they're rather intricate figures, Alice. In fact, they're... Well, I've got to be going to the office. Dear, you won't forget to stop off and leave those things at the tailor's, will you? I won't. I've already got them out in the car. Uh, Isn't somebody at our back door there? Hello, Mrs. Aldrich. Why, hello there, Homer. I thought you were with Henry. Who, me? Why, I'll tell you, I was with him and... And then he asked me... I decided to come over here for something. Dear, Henry hasn't gone skating, has he? Skating? No. No, Henry didn't even put his skates on. Uh, Could I just step up to Henry's room for a second and sort of look around for something that I'd like to see whether I can find? You want to go up to his room? It's okay. Boy, I want to call somebody out the back door here. Oh, Charlie. What did she say, Homer? Did you talk her into it? Charlie. Say hello to Mrs. Aldrich. She's right here behind the door. Oh, hello, Mrs. Aldrich. Good morning, Charlie. What is it you want? Why, well, I just... Well, well you see, here's what happened. Uh, come I... on, Charlie. Mrs. Aldrich is very busy baking, and we don't want to bother her. Okay. Now, don't make a mess up there, boys. Oh, no. Alice, exactly what is it I'm supposed to tell the tailor? Sam, everything of mine is to be dry cleaned. Yes. And Henry's suit and his two pairs of trousers are to be sponged and pressed. Fine. And tell him Henry would like at least his suit back by Monday because he hasn't a thing up in his closet except what he's wearing. Very well. Are you leaving now? Uh, no, not just yet. I've got to put in one more phone call. Mrs. Aldrich. Uh, Yes, Homer? Mrs. Aldrich, does Henry... Does Henry still have the same room he's always had? Why, yes, Homer, of course. Is that right? Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. The closet, the whole thing seemed a little empty. Well, what is it you're looking for, dear? Nothing, Mrs. Aldrich. Oh, Charlie. Homer, was Henry going to meet you here? Why, no, not exactly. Uh, we were going to come here and and then he'll probably be at the lake when I get back. Hey, Homer, what's keeping you? Listen, Charlie, did you find anything? I found a sweater. What good will a sweater do? What Henry needs is a pair of trousers. Well, where are his trousers? That's what I don't understand. And listen, Charlie, you got to let me take your pants over to him. Oh, no, Homer. But, Charlie, don't you realize Henry's over at the lake and all he's got to keep him warm is a fire? Come on, now, let me have them. Oh, no, Homer, oh, no, I'll take your pants. But, Charlie, don't you realize your pants are brown? They're the same color as Henry's. All he's got to do is put them on and nobody will ever know he fell in. Well, well, why don't you go over to your house and get him your brown pants? Because my mother's looking for me, and if I go anywhere near my house, I'm sunk. Well, you can't have mine. But, Charlie, you look tired. You can get into Henry's bed and read a good book. Oh, no. Now, listen, Charlie. <laughs> Agnes! 
Yes. Hey, Agnes. Oh, hello, Henry. Hi. Oh, I didn't know you were down here at the lake, Henry. Come on out here and skate with me. Oh, I, I tell you, Agnes, I, I can't right this minute. Why not? What are you doing behind that bush? Uh, why, nothing. Have you seen Homer? No, is he down here at the lake? Why, he was, and then he left to go on sort of a, an errand. Oh, gee whiz, have you seen Charlie Clark? No. Boy. Oh, my goodness. Look at the hole in the ice. What? Has someone been fishing here? Fishing? Fishing? Say, Henry, have you got a fire there? Uh, listen, Agnes, just stay away from here. Just stay away. Why? Well, because, well, uh, this is my fire. Oh, my goodness. Oh, listen, do you see that house down at the end of the lake? Yeah. Well, could you run down there and ask to borrow a blanket? Why can't you go? Well, that's why I'm behind this bush. What? And, Agnes, while you're down there, ask if you could get, get anything I could fish with. What's that? And tell him I want to hook a fruitcake. Thanks a lot, Charlie. And remember this. Don't worry. Now, listen, Homer. How long are you going to leave me here? I'll be back with Henry before you know it. Just stay in bed and enjoy that book. Okay. And don't call anybody. Okay. And listen, Charlie, do you want me to pull down the shade in case you want to take a nap? No, I don't. Just stay away from that shade and bring my pants back. Okay. Homer? Yes, Mrs. Aldrich? Are you still up in Henry's room? Wait, I was Mrs. Aldrich, but I'm not now. I'm coming downstairs. Could I speak to you out in the kitchen, please? Now? Well, I'll be there just as soon as I... All I have to do is put something down here in the living room a second. Very well, but please hurry. Yes, ma'am, I'm coming. Here I am, Mrs. Aldrich. Dear, I'm terribly sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to run down to the store for me. Now, Mrs. Aldrich. Yes, dear. <laughs> the only thing is, I, I... Dear, all you have to do is run in and ask for a can of baking powder and run right back here. Yes, Mrs. Aldrich. Only first, I think I'll step in the living room a minute. Now, dear, please. I need the baking powder at once. Right away? Yes. Here, I'll open the back door for you. Okay, Mrs. Aldrich, and I'll be right back. Thank you, dear. Homer, you don't have to run that fast. Alice. Uh, yes, Sam? Are these brown trousers that Henry's supposed to go to the tailor's to? Where did you find those? On a chair in the living room. My goodness, I thought Henry was wearing his brown trousers. Well, as long as you have them, you might as well tell the tailor to dry clean them. They've been needing it for a long time. <laughs> Hey, Henry, are you fishing? Henry, are you? Get away, I would. Stand back from this hole. What you fishing for, Henry? Henry, can't you answer me? Listen, now, would you want to fall through this ice? You're too young to be around here. I am not. I want to see what you're fishing for. Oh, gee whiz. See that, I would. If you hadn't been bothering me, I would have had it. Oh, now, just keep quiet. Oh. You would have had what, Henry? What you got a blanket around you for? There you go, Elwood. That's twice my darn fruitcake's gotten away from me. You're done what, Henry? Listen, Elwood. Uh, go on over the other side of the lake and see whether Homer Brown's coming. I can see from here he isn't. Henry, you got a bite. You got a bite. I know it. You think I'm blind? Want me to help you, Henry? Listen, will you step back? Oh, boy, Henry, let me give you a hand. Look out, Elwood. Now, listen, Elwood, there goes the fruitcake. Gee whiz. Hello? Hello. Hello, Will Brown speaking. Hello, Will, this is Sam. Oh, hello, Sam. Where are you? I'm at my office, Will, and I just phoned your house, see? Yes? Did you fix everything? Well, that's why I'm calling you. Your wife balked. She balked? She says it's Saturday afternoon and you need to get away from your work and she's taking you to that reception. But, Sam, I've been counting on... I know how you feel, Will. I don't blame you a bit. Sam, you couldn't arrange to serve me a summons, could you? A summons? No, the courthouse is closed. But I could send you a wire. Say, uh, that's an idea. And make it strong. I know what I can say. Good. And Sam, when you send it, don't send it here to my office. Send it to my home. Then Elizabeth will be sure to open it. I understand, and don't worry, Will. I won't. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello? Hello. Could I speak with Mr. Samuel Aldrich, please? This is Mr. Aldrich. Oh. Who is this speaking? Why, this is Homer. Who? 
Homer. Don't you remember Homer? I had breakfast at your house this morning. Oh, yes. Homer. Uh, Mr. Aldrich, Mrs. Aldrich happened to mention that you took some clothes to the tailor when you left the house a little while ago. Yes, what about them? Well, why aren't they there? What's that? I've just been over to the tailor's and he doesn't know anything about them. Of course he doesn't. If Mrs. Aldrich is worried about them, tell her they're in my car and I'm going to take them in a few minutes. Oh. Well, do you know where your car is? You mean it's been stolen? It has. With Charlie's... With Charlie's? Homer, I can see my car from my window here. It's parked right there on Main Street. It is on Main Street? Yes, of course. Right in front of the barber shop. Oh, then I guess it isn't stolen. Goodbye. Oh, gee whiz. Now, wait a second there, young fella. Oh, boy. Are you speaking to me? Is this your car? Why, yes, sir. No, sir. I'm just looking through it. That's what I thought. What's your name? My name? You think I haven't been watching you? You even tried to get into the trunk. Yes, sir. I'm looking for something. Yeah? Look, a friend of mine dropped a fruitcake, see? I mean... First, I borrowed another guy's pants, see? And this is his car? Yes, sir. No, sir. It's Mr. Aldrich's car. Mr. Aldrich's? Yes, sir. It was his wife who baked the fruitcake. Oh, so it's a fruitcake you're looking for. Yes, sir. No, sir. He's taking it to the cleaners, see? Now, wait a minute. What's your name? Don't you understand? Charlie's pants. They're holding everything up. <laughs> We'll be back with the Aldrich family in just a moment. Right now, it's intermission, and time for our intermission guest, the one and only Tommy Dorsey. Okay, Tommy.
Now, getting back to the troubles of Henry Aldrich. Henry, while supposedly delivering a fruitcake for his mother, has fallen through the ice on the lake. Now, while he's waiting for someone to bring him a pair of dry trousers, the scene opens with Homer returning to Charlie, whose trousers he had borrowed. Charlie. Oh. Hey, Charlie, wake up. Oh. Now, listen, Homer, where are my pants? Not so loud, Charlie. Do you want Mrs. Aldrich to hear you? Mrs. Aldrich isn't here. I heard her go out. Who is here? Nobody's here. I've been alone here all day. Well, what do you mean, all day? It's hardly three o'clock. Well, I haven't had any lunch. And I want my pants. Well, that's what I came over to tell you about, Charlie. Where are they? They're being cleaned. I think. They're what? Well, the cleaner promised me definitely he'd have them back on Monday. And I've got to stay here until then without anything to eat? Oh, no. Charlie, take your hands off me. No, I won't. I'm going to get out of here. How? I'm going to take your pants. Now, watch out. Quick, Charlie. Oh. Hey, Charlie, get off me. No, I won't. Don't let go of my ear. Don't let go of my pants. Well, hold your foot up. You make me. Now, listen, Charlie. Stop dragging me across the floor. Let go. Let go yourself. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Now, look what you've done. You tore my pants right in two. Well, why didn't you let go of them? Well, this is a swell thing to do to a guy. Look at me. Can't we sew them back together? Sure, sure. How are we going to sew them together? I've got one leg on and you've got the other in your hands. Sam, I certainly want to thank you for fixing everything up with Elizabeth. No trouble at all, Will. When she got that telegram... Uh, uh, now, wait a minute, Sam. What's trouble? Uh, let's go this way instead. Uh, let's hurry, too. Whom do you see, Will? I think that was your wife up the street. Alice? She must be on the way to that reception. Uh, nothing to worry about, Sam. She didn't see us. Hello, What's that? It's Agnes Lawson. Hello. Oh, yes. Hello there. Where are you going in such a rush? Well, I'm going home to get something for... for... Boy, am I in a hurry. Boy. Boy, of all the... Listen, Homer, get off that bed. It's my turn to lie down for a while. What's wrong with that chair you're sitting on? It's hard, but I'm tired. Well, I'll tell you one thing. The next time I do something to try to help you out, Charlie, don't think you know more than anybody else that ever lived. Gee whiz, who's that? It's Elwood, fellas. Is it all right to come in? Oh, hello, Elwood. Where'd you come from? Listen, Henry wants to know where you are. Does Henry want to see me? Sure, Homer. What you lying down for? You sick? I'm getting up. Say, come here a minute, Elwood. Come here a minute. What for? I just want to see something. Listen, Homer, he's got knee pants on. Well, they're better than nothing. What do you mean by that, Homer? Uh, nothing, Elwood, nothing. Just come here to Homer. What for? Elwood, I'm not going to hit you. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Just a second, Agnes. Do they fit you, Henry? Well, they cover me. But don't come near this bush again. I'm not coming near it. They fit me. Uh, but just how big is your father? Well, he used to be center on the Yale football team. He did? Yes, but he's put on a little weight since then. There. Now I guess I have them on all right. My goodness. <laughs> What's the matter? Henry, you're just a sight. Boy. Hey, Henry. She was. Who's that? Here they are, Henry. Here they are. Listen, Homer, where have you been? I've been trying to get you these pants, and boy... Here, put them on. Homer, I've got a pair of pants on. You have? Are those pants? Sure. They're Agnes's father's. Agnes's who? My father. Oh. Well, Henry, don't you want Elwood's? Elwood? How'd you get Elwood? I just borrowed them. And then went over to Charlie's and got a pair for myself. And here are yours. Homer, I certainly hope you don't think I want to wear knee pants, do you? Well, why, why shouldn't you? I wore them right out in public all the way over to Charlie's house. Henry, isn't that your father over there? Where, Agnes? Where's my father? Right out there on the lake. Look at him skate. Oh, boy. Stand in front of me. Gee, was that my father with him? Yes, yeah, sure. They certainly are doing some fancy figure skating. Homer, won't you please stand in front of me? Oh! oh. Agnes, what's the matter? There goes Mr. Aldrich. He just fell in. He did? My father fell in? Oh, boy, Henry. Oh, boy. Look out. Homer, where are you going? What do you think? To your father. I'm going to take him Elwood's pants. Can 
you see through the window, Will? Yes, I'm looking. Is it all right to go in? Is the coast clear? Come on, Sam. Your wife isn't in the front of the house anywhere. Are you sure? Alice! Alice Aldrich! Will, don't do that. <sighs> it's all right. You don't look so bad in those pants, Sam. They just look like a skating costume. Just the same, Will. I don't want her to see me. Look, I'm going upstairs to take a hot bath. Okay. And as a matter of fact, I think I'll be pulling out. Sam! Will, is that Alice? Uh, goodbye, Sam! Yes, Alice? Was that you that just came in the front door? Why, uh, uh, yes. Yes, that was I. Well, come on out here to the kitchen a minute. Why, I can't right now, Alice. Sam, I want you to come out here and help me with something. Very well. I'm coming. Do you please hurry? Yes, Alice. I'm right here on the other side of the door. Well, why don't you come all the way in? Well, I would, Alice. Only I was afraid I'd bother you. Sam, I'm peeling these onions and I can't see a thing. Step over to the range, will you please, and see whether I turn that back burner off? Now, Alice? Yes, dear, of course now. Did you get all your figuring done? Why, we went over a few figures. And then something else came up. But that is, yes, you might say we got them done. My goodness, but these onions make my eyes water. You mean you can't see anything, Alice? Not anything at all? No, dear. Where are you? I'm sort of around here behind you. Well, I suppose I'll have to keep on peeling these or I'll never get them done. And incidentally, Henry is upstairs. He's upstairs? Yes, he came in just a few minutes ago and he's taking a hot bath. Well, that's fine. And after dinner, Sam, I want you to have a talk with him. Yes? Yeah? He started off this morning to deliver a fruitcake and he distinctly disobeyed me and went skating and fell in the lake. Oh. Uh, yeah? Sam, you don't seem a bit concerned. Why, well, I am too concerned, Alice. I was just going to say falling in the and lake. I also wish you'd have a talk with Henry about Homer. About Homer? Yes, Sam. Elwood Hazard's mother phoned a little while ago and said that Homer had knocked Elwood down today, stolen his trousers from him, and locked him up in a, some room someplace. What did he do that for? Well, I don't know. And now Mrs. Hazard is going out all around town trying to find the poor boy's pants. Elwood Hazard? Yes, Sam, and he's only a little fellow in knee pants. Hmm. Well, Alice, I think I'll be going upstairs and get dressed. And don't be late for dinner, Sam. You will speak to Henry, won't you? Yes, Alice. And if Mrs. Hazard phones again about Elwood's pants, tell her not to worry. I'll try to get to the bottom of them. Did you take part of this morning's paper? For why, Mother? Yes, dear. There was a picture in it of some man who fell into the lake yesterday. And it was the funniest thing. It looked exactly like your father. Is that right? Yes, dear. And I wanted to show it to him. Do you know where it is? Well, to tell the truth, Mother, uh, Father and I were lighting a fire in the living room a little while ago, and I guess, well, we must have burned it. <laughs> This rebroadcast of the Aldrich family is a presentation of the Armed Forces Radio Service.